Google Gemini has released two awesome features, a collaboration canvas and an audio overview. Canvas has two great use cases. One is a space where you can generate content and edit it, and two, a space where you can generate code and prototypes for interactive apps, web apps, Python scripts, games, simulations, and other apps. The audio overview brings in notebook LM capabilities where you can create audio content from deep research or your own sources. First, we'll check out the Canvas feature. So when you go to Gemini, click on Canvas in the prompt section, and we're gonna submit this prompt to create a digital download PDF on how to generate a slide deck from a dashboard. So you can see it opens up this Canvas area on the right, and there's a blinking cursor. It's a living, breathing document. You can add text, remove text, We'll change this to appendix, colon, and then add this text to it, but we'll highlight it and click on these three dots to change the styling and the formatting. Remove the bold formatting, but you can also change the text styling to different headers. You can also italicize text, create bullet points or numbering lists. You can also highlight text and ask Gemini questions like we'll ask what are different ways we can create titles for slides. Gemini creates sub bullets for the different methods to approach slide titles including examples. You can also expand the text or change the length of the text so we can increase the length and it'll add more content or we can decrease the length. But if I like the way it was before, I can just undo or go to a previous version and keep the original content. You can click on this slider icon to change the tone from very casual to very formal. And as before, it highlights all the changes that match the tone that you're looking for. You can also highlight the content and as for suggestions from Gemini. It gives you a suggestion to the right of the content. You can click on show more. To see the improvements, if you want to implement the suggestions, just click on apply. If your document is in a place where you want to share, you can export it to Google Docs where it'll create a new document. You can copy the content or you can click on this share icon to share the canvas and it'll create a link that you can share with other folks. Now we'll take a look at the coding and app generation features. We're gonna use this prompt to create a landing page for a digital download on how to generate a slide deck from a dashboard. As you can see, Gemini generated the code for the landing page. It's a pretty simple design, but I like the color palette and this looks better than what some of the other competitors have generated. You can't edit the content directly in the preview mode, but you can go to the code and edit the text or the code itself. So we can take out that compelling slide decks with our proven. We'll just take out this to simplify it. Click on preview again, and we can see our change has been made immediately. You can highlight portions of code and ask Gemini to explain the code to you. So it looks like it's going through the code and it breaks down what that portion of code includes. On our landing page, it lists a price because I didn't specify that I wanted it to be a free download. So I'm gonna get rid of this line and then I'm going to highlight this section of the code and I'll ask Gemini to create a pop-up modal that asks for an email address and includes a submit button. And if we go to our preview, scroll down, click download the guide to bring up the pop-up modal, which even has a placeholder for the email field. You can still further ask Gemini to edit the design with elements like changing the cursor to a pointer finger when hovering over the button, stylizing the pop-up modal to match the color palette, and change the copy of the modal 
to match the previous call to action. It also adds comments like a good developer would, as you can see with these double forward slashes. But what I really like is its suggestion for actually implementing the solution. For example, line 263 tells us that in a real application, you would send this email to your server. Now you can also ask Gemini to suggest a B test for this landing page. It goes through the code to understand what the landing page presents. With its contextual understanding, it presents some suggestions for A B tests like the different copy for the modal content, as we were talking about a few seconds ago, testing different button colors, changing the thank you message. For example, if you want to create another call to action to keep the user engaged after they submit their information, as well as key metrics to track like conversion rate, email capture rate, bounce rate, and time on page. Now let's take a look at this audio overview feature. If you haven't tried out Notebook LM, I highly recommend you take a look at it. You can watch a video on it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description. Here in the right panel, you can see a section for the audio overview. This one is 16 minutes long, but the question is, will Google get rid of Notebook LM and roll the features into Google Gemini? In Google Gemini, when you upload your documents, a chip will appear suggesting to generate an audio overview. So you can upload notes, research papers, slide decks, reports generated by deep research or even email threads. Audio overview will take the sources that you provide and generate a podcast style conversation on the material. We're talking about drawing connections between topics and providing different perspectives. It'll take a few minutes to generate depending on how much content, how many sources you upload. This is a 12 page PDF with a bunch of images and text for the PDF. You can see that it creates a standard audio player. You can control the speed of the audio playback. I imagine they'll change this to a drop down list in the future so you can easily choose what speed you want to play the audio at. Let's give this a listen. It's deep dive. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at this guide that you guys shared about how to grow a YouTube channel yeah. from this. Yeah. Right. And you know, in her case, it was personal finance. Yeah. I think that was really strong because she had that lived experience and she paid off all that student loan debt. Yeah. So that sounds as good as it does in Notebook LM. You can hear the two voices and the engaging conversation that Gemini generates. If you click on the three dots, you can download or share the conversation. You can take the conversation with you. You can listen to the audio overview while taking care of a chore or when you're on the go. So there are a lot of great use cases. You can use the content that it generates to create your own podcast, generate video to go with the audio using another tool. You can prepare, study for exams, presentations, prepare for job interviews, create content for marketing or sales materials, audit client websites, to create an audio summary so that you can bring it with you and listen to it if you're commuting or traveling somewhere. You can use it to research products or software or conduct competitive analysis. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.